Hey, John. Great morning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, it has been the perfect morning and maybe the best I've ever had. Oh. I mean, everything went right. I got up right when my alarm went off. You know, I didn't even have to hit snooze. Mm. Yeah, and when I brushed my teeth, I had the perfect amount of toothpaste. It was, it was, it was great. Oh, I picked out my shirt and, and I didn't even have to iron it. Oh. I, I had a I balanced breakfast. I read my Bible, did a little exercise. <laughs> and on the way over here, I hit every single green light. Mm. Can you believe it? I'm telling you, man, it was perfect. <sighs> sure you're not forgetting anything? What, what do you mean? Uh... Oh, man. Everybody, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So and So Show. Now, we got a special surprise on the show today, but this time it's a different kind of surprise. Yeah, normally we like to surprise you or each other, but today we've got a surprise for our guest. Yes. So without further ado. Oh, and please don't spoil the surprise. Oh, yeah, no, no. Just, just act natural. Yeah, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Charmaine. Come on it is. It's great to be back. No. And for all of our new viewers out there, please tell us who you are and what you know. I'm Charmaine, and I know a lot about music because I'm a singer. <laughs> and a great one at that. <laughs> so, so what have you been up to lately? Do you, do you have any new songs or anything? Oh, always. Do you want to hear my latest work in progress? I don't know. Let me think. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, great. Backup music. Hey, yeah. <laughs> You've got this. It's a new day. No need to be afraid. Just be brave. Be brave. Look up at the sky and say, I am on my way. I am on my way. You want to hear another one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, we do. But 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 first, we actually have a little surprise for you. Oh, okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on to your hat. Oh. She's not wearing one. All right, yeah. uh, well, <laughs> wow. please welcome someone else who knows stuff. <laughs> I didn't know there would be another guest on the show today. Oh. Well, that, that's, that's why it's a surprise. Ah. And not just any other guest, it's your friend, Charmaine. Uh, come on in, have a, have a seat. Uh, let me just get this closed. And... Okay, uh, tell us who you are and what you know. My name is Sheila and I know all about music because I am a singer. <laughs> That's exactly what Charmaine said. Of course it is. I'm sorry. Is there is there something wrong? What what's up with you two? I thought I thought that you sang together. You're right. We did sing together. Not anymore. What happened? Don't look at me. I'm not the one who hired all new backup singers without even talking to her singing partner. Well, at least I didn't purposefully mess up during a live performance in order to make my singing partner look bad. I did not. Yes, you did, and you know it. This is why I stopped working with you. You're impossible. I'm impossible. Me? <laughs> the only thing impossible here is your ability to hit the high note. <gasps> you did not mean that. Fine. No, I didn't. Your vocal range is perfection. Thank you. So is yours. Do you want to talk about this in private? Uh, no. No. We don't need to talk at all. <laughs> You're the best duo, though. The, the, the local paper called your voices a duet whose voices so perfectly weave together you could wear their harmonies like your grandmother's handwoven blanket. <laughs> Yeah, that was a weird review. Well, it was nice, but who wears me 
music like a blanket. <laughs> what do you say? Will you sing one of your hit songs together for us? I mean, for old times sake? I don't want to perform with someone who wants to make me look bad on purpose. And I don't want to perform with someone who doesn't know how to collaborate or ask for my input. Well, we did say we wouldn't talk it out, but maybe I'd be willing to sing it out. Okay, fine. Let's do it. It hurt my feelings when you made me look bad. I trusted you, but now I feel like I can't. It's hard to say, but easier to sing. I'm sorry I did that. It was not cool of me. I'm sorry, Charmaine. I really am. I was just insecure because you were outshining me, but that was really awful of me to do to you. I promise I won't mess up on purpose again. Thanks, Sheila. I forgive you. I owe you an apology too. Well, you were supposed to be partners and I didn't even ask for your input on backup singers. Do you forgive me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And the power of music. <laughs> so, you guys still wanna hear us sing one of our hits together? Yes. yes. <laughs> Never know what today will bring A new friend or a new beginning I'm gonna make the best of today Gonna dream up something good Gonna shine my light And trust that everything will be alright <laughs> That was awesome! Are you alright? <laughs> That felt just like grandmother's hand woven blanket. Oh, it feels so good to sing together again. <laughs> well, it sure did. I think we've got one song left in us today. You guys want to join us? Oh, Absolutely. No, okay. <laughs> Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, I'm glad I sang. You, get, you were a little what? Just a awesome. Hey, Kellen, uh, what you got for us today, my friend? Well, today we have a story about Jesus from the book of Luke. You see, Jesus traveled from town to town with his friends and his disciples. He taught all about God's kingdom and did all kinds of amazing miracles. One day, he traveled through a place called Jericho, and that's where our story begins. Oh, 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 okay. can I help you tell the story, Kellen? Um, sure. What exactly do you have in mind? You'll find out. <laughs> okay, looks promising. Here we go. Like I said, Jesus was passing through Jericho. A man named Zacchaeus lived there. You see, Zacchaeus was an important tax collector and was very rich. Here you go. Mm, well, actually, Zacchaeus was really short. Oh. And he probably didn't have many friends or people who were really happy to see him. Oh, oh. <laughs> because in that time, tax collectors were really greedy and often stole from the people they collected taxes from. So people did not like him. Okay. How about this? Yeah, that seems about right. Cool. <laughs> Keep going. Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. He probably heard stories about him, the way Jesus healed people of diseases, or how his teachings always blew everyone's mind. Maybe he even heard about how one of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, had been a tax collector too. But as usual, Jesus was surrounded by a large crowd of people. And since Zacchaeus was short, he couldn't see over the crowd. 
So Zacchaeus climbed a sycamore fig tree so that he could see Jesus. Is that a palm tree? What? It's a coconut. No! Smooth. That's more like it. Sweet! Like a fig. Good one. <laughs> what happened next, Kellen? When Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, he looked up at him and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down from the tree at once and welcomed Jesus into his home gladly. The end. Whoa, whoa, slow down. That is not the end of the story. It's not? Nope. Oh, um. Nice. <laughs> now, remember what I said earlier about how people felt about tax collectors? They were not well liked. So the crowd was not a fan of Jesus going to Zacchaeus' house. They started whispering to each other how they didn't approve. They said, Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Man, it's not fun when people talk about you behind your back. Not at all. Zacchaeus stood up and he said, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. Wow, that's a big deal. It sure was. It could have been everything Zacchaeus had. But what mattered to Zacchaeus was that he now had Jesus as a friend and Lord. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to your house. Hold on, hold on, one more, one more. Okay. <sighs> now that's the end of the story. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. And thank you for the drawings. That was great. I know. It's so amazing that even though Zacchaeus had stolen from his neighbors, Jesus was still kind to him and, and wanted to spend time with him. Jesus could have told Zacchaeus a list of all the things that he needed to change about himself. But instead, Jesus simply showed him love, acceptance, and forgiveness. And that changed Zacchaeus completely. Forgiveness is a pretty powerful thing, huh? No doubt about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Kellen. Wow. I love that Jesus wasn't worried about his reputation or what other people thought of him. I love that Zacchaeus was changed because of what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because we've all done things that we know we shouldn't do. We've all sinned. Yeah, and, and I'm always so thankful when people forgive me. Yeah, me too. Hey, you know what? Reveal the question. When has someone forgiven you? Could be uh, a parent or sibling. Or a teacher or a friend. You know, I remember one time when my bus driver forgave me. Oh, I'd love to hear that story. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> uh, maybe you've experienced something similar to what Charmaine and Sheila went through earlier today. When they forgave each other, it allowed them to be friends so they could sing together again. Yeah, it can be really memorable because it means so much when people forgive us. So, when has someone forgiven you? Talk it out and we'll see you next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and this was The So-and-So Show. Yeah, it was. I'm going to draw something else. I'm going to draw us at the desk. Oh, good. There is me. There is you. Happy smiley face. Happy smiley face. Um, I, I was really inspired by your beautiful song about how you forgave each other. So, uh, I, I, I wrote a song um, that is about when the bus driver forgave me. Oh, good. I wanted to hear this. Everybody. And then we come in. The bus driver forgave me! He said, don't do that again! But you are my friend! And I will forgive you until the next time you do something like that! And I, you won't have to go to the principal's office! Ah, yeah! Ah, yeah! Come on, come on the seat! <laughs>